Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where I teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between. All the good stuff, and now we're deep into freehanding. And today I'll be freehanding a Bad Moon symbol, specifically the new Bad Moon symbol from the new Orc Codex, or the 7th edition Orc Codex. It's slightly different from the old Bad Moon symbol, which is just a moon. This one's more going to be a, an orky kind of combination between a nut and a moon or a bolt in a moon, you'll see what I'm talking about. So today we're going to be using the same truck we did last week for the Orky Flames, and we'll, I prepared a new area of the truck, which is yellow, of course, for the bad moons, and we'll be doing our symbol today using black. So we'll start off with Abaddon Black. As always, I thin it down using some lemon and medium, that way it's nice and thin. So to start off with, I'm going to start by creating just a large C, and this will ultimately dictate the skeleton of our bad moons symbol. So as I said, we're always going to do it. We're going to start with our skeleton, Fill it in, clean it up, good to go, all is good. Use thin paints, and we're in good shape. So now we got our C. Uh, now the key is next is to create nice, solid, straight lines around that C. Because as I said, the new symbol is kind of like a cross between a bolt. It, it has very jagged, like a, hex, a hexagonal shape, crossed with a moon. And so we'll need to get some nice, straight lines. So the next, I'm going to just try to get some nice, straight lines that are kind of just tangents to the... Um, the C. So as you can see, I'm just building in some nice straight lines around that C that we just created. And then I'm slowly filling them in between the, the lines and the C itself. As you the key is just take your time, do nice, solid strokes, straight lines. Now the bolts in this specific area will kind of mess with the pattern a little bit, but I'll clean it up after. So as you can see, I'm just creating some nice straight lines. Now if it helps, you can do what I'm doing at the bottom part, which is just another tactic, is to um, first just put a dot where you want to connect, and then that way you have a nice point to, to reach, and then you can connect the, to the two points quite easily with your thin down paint and a nice thin brush. So now that we've gotten the outside done, it's now time to work on the inside, so I'm just going to fill in the inside of the C. Now the inside of this symbol is actually just more circular, so it has a bit of a sharp edge uh, towards each point, but then it's pretty circular towards that, so as you can see I'm just going to build a nice circular um, center of the, of the moon and fill it in accordingly with the Abaddon Black. And here's what it looks like after one color. So now we're going to take gray liner and just do it around the edges. That way it adds a little more aging to the symbol. And this will also be used to clean it up slightly. So now that you have the, skeleton, the, the full symbol done, it's much easier to clean up the lines using gray liner than afterwards. As you can see now you have nice sharp lines. And once again the key is to sharpen up the edges of the... And now as you can see if you look carefully it kind of looks like a moon but it's kind of like a hexagonal shape with a bite missing out of it. But uh, as I said, that's the new look of the Bad Moon's symbol. So now we're just going to clean up the lines and then fill it in slightly, leaving the center part of the symbol uh, great with the Abaddon Black. That would just create a little bit more aging, a little bit of depth of color to it. And that's basically it for the symbol. Now it looks, it looks pretty moony, but uh, we're going to take Weathered Stone and we're going to clean it up a little bit. Now this stage, at this point, if you did it perfectly, you wouldn't have to do most of what I'm doing, but I just want to make it perfect. So I'm going to go around the symbol once again and clean it up just slightly, sharpen those lines, and um, thin it down slightly. I realized that I did too much of the symbol on the bottom half of the moon, so I'm going to go, uh, especially in the inside of it, so I'm going to go and clean that up slightly afterwards this as well. So as you can see right now, I'm just going around the symbol with weathered stone. The reason why I'm using weathered stone is a nice thin down gray, and uh, it will be an intermediate color that way when we go back to the uh, the mid-tone of the background color and it'll, it'll blend in quite nicely. But as you can see here, I'm just going around the shape and getting nice and sharp. And then on the inside, as I said, I just did too much on the bottom part of the inside. It was too thick. So I'm going to use the gray lot, the weathered stone and just uh, build a little bit more on the inside of it. And now we, it looks much more like a moon, uh, a moon crossed with a hexagonal shape. So after we've, we've thinned it up a bit, um, I'm going to take the weathered stone now and do the eye, just a circle for the eye. Now I'm doing it oh, two times because there's one symbol with a very small eye and then at the end there's a large eye version as well. But uh, the, all you do is you make a larger eye with the weathered stone first. And as I said, this step is really important because by going with an intermediate color like a gray, it allows the aerial yellow after to go on quite nicely and with one color it'll blend in nicely. So now we're going to take the aerial yellow, thin it down of course with some lemon medium, and then go around the gray and as you can see, the gray will just disappear quite easily now. And if you didn't use this gray and you went straight to the Eero Yellow after doing the blacks, it'll take several coats and it won't go on. It'll almost appear greenish. 
Uh, the gray is what allows it to, to it, the gray takes up most of the work for the, the cleanup color and allows you to, uh, to go on nicely with a secondary yellow. And as you can see now, I'm just cleaning up those, uh, the gray that I did from the previous step around the moon. And then I'm gonna take the real yellow and then do the eyes and the teeth as well. There's just three triangles at the bottom, which are the teeth, and then the eye, which is the, uh, the circle in the middle of the symbol. But this is the key is to have a nice circle, circular part, or it's kind of like an oval shape in the middle, but nice sharp edges along the outside of the, uh, the moon. And I'm just going to do the teeth and the eye, keep inside those nice gray lines that we did before, and we're done. So here's what the symbol looks like when it's completely done. As you can see now, it is the new bad moon symbol. It, it, it is a moon, as you can see, it's clearly a moon, but it has a very uh, sharp, almost mechanical shape to it. It's very hexagonal. And uh, that's it. And then what, as somebody mentioned to me, there's two kind of versions of it, one with the giant eye and one with the smaller eye. So I did is I just enlarged the eye as well using some uh, weathered stone and then painted it yellow as well. And here's what it looks like with the giant eye version of the symbol. As you see, very orky, very bad moonsy, and it was a lot of fun to paint up. It didn't take a lot of time, but the key is to thin down your paints, do the skeleton, fill it in, etc. So thank you as always for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. And stay tuned for part 108, which is just around the corner. But if you don't want to wait for next week, check out the warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel. Where not only will you see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes for anyone else, you get to see dozens of battle reports and face-off episodes, over a hundred start-to-finish painting tutorials, an Airbrush 101 series, and soon a basing series. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so tons of content. Go and check it out. I know you'll love it. Check out the warp. Until next time, this is Jay saying. Happy painting, everyone.